Hello everybody and welcome to another Fight a Subscriber where subscribers send me their craft and I pit them against my own fighters which you can see here. Um, now this is just a week after the last one. Uh, normally these would be fortnightly so every other week um, but where I've got so many craft to get through and I don't want to be doing this forever I'm gonna try and do these most weeks. I haven't quite worked out an exact schedule but uh, hopefully you'll be seeing much more of this. Anyway, I have once again fired up Google's random number generator, and of the available craft, it has kindly selected this for us. This is the F-54 Kaiser by Carl, aka Kaizen 65, and this is a beautiful craft. It's got those swept wings, very reminiscent of fighter craft design during the 60s and 70s, that, that saw the most prominent service through the 80s and into the 90s. Uh, it's got the um, the tail plane and four plane configuration, which will give it a little bit of extra maneuverability, and there's a lot of attention to detail in this one. This craft also comes into the competition with a lot of pedigree behind it. I know some of my subscribers also watched um, Tape Gaming's uh, Fighter Jet Showdown series, and this is the successor to the F-53 Emperor, which starred in Season 4 of that. This is already a very impressive craft, and we haven't even left the runway yet, so let's take it up and see how it flies. So in the age-old question of speed versus manoeuvrability, last time we had the Pip Drone, which uh, put all of its eggs in the speed basket. This time it's all out maneuverability. In fact I think it would be fair to say this is the first truly hyper maneuverable craft we've had in Fighter Subscriber. It's too maneuverable to do my normal figure of eights around the uh, VAB and the control tower. It just looks awkward, it just turns so quickly. Uh, but it's also got a kick of speed to it as well which made me wonder how exactly it was managing this and um, then I found out. This fighter does not carry a lot of fuel. I don't turn infinite fuel on for these. Each craft needs to carry what it needs. Uh, I estimated that uh, the F-54 has about five minutes worth of fuel in full-on hectic combat conditions, which means for each fight, the F-54 has about five minutes, maybe a little more actually, to kill all my fighters or it's game over. And I think it might manage it. But let's go and find out for certain, shall we? Here we go then, for the first fight, the F-54s will be up against my Cyclones, and may God have mercy on my craft. Let's get them into the air. Here we go then. The F-54s turn very quickly to loose their first volley of missiles, although they don't seem to be too keen on getting in the way. There we go. I'm going to bring up the resources window because this is going to be very interesting. It cannot be a prolonged fight. The Kaisers do not have enough fuel for it. In about four minutes, it's going to be over one way or another. The Kaisers twisting and turning as they do so well for coming around to fire their second volley off. No casualties so far. Um, not expecting any from the Kaisers, they, um, although they, they do lose, as I said, they lose a bit of speed in the turn, so if they get too slow they might be hit by a lucky missile, but it doesn't look like anything's happening so far. Oh! Now that was unexpected. A missile kill on one of the Kaisers almost straight away, and one of the Cyclones as well just gets blown to oblivion. We are down to two, and that's another one of the Cyclones gone to a missile kill, just as another one of the Kaisers gets taken out. <laughs> and it is 1v1. And this is getting very interesting already. That missile was very close. I think it might be a case that these Kaisers are perhaps a little bit too slow in the turn. A missile comes in and shreds that last Kaiser. And the Cyclones are victorious. I... I did not see that one coming at all. Oh, look at all the debris raining to the ground. That was obscene. 
I'm, al I'm almost in shock. Uh, there's still, you can still hear one of the <laughs> one of the craft's engines is still going. You can still hear the afterburning engine going in the background. I think machine it's that little bit that's spinning round to the ground there. But I don't think it'll be going for very long. Crashes into the ground, and everything goes a lot quieter. But oh. anyway, let's move on to the next fight. So next up, as is traditional, these Kaisers will be going up against my club tails. We'll discuss the last fight on the way up. Let's uh, let's get it started. So yeah, that last fight. Oh, that was that was ridiculous. Um, uh, the one the one thing with missiles over recent as uh, the versions of BD Army have gone on, especially with the recent versions, missiles have become more and more effective. They used to be quite easy to dodge. A few versions ago, these craft would have just wiped my craft out of the sky in a split second, but yeah, maybe it is just that fact they lose a little bit too much speed in the turn makes them a bit of a sitting duck for missiles. Um, alternatively, it could just be that um, both sides got lucky with early missile kills, uh, the Cyclones getting a little bit luckier with theirs. Uh, but. Um, I think Minecraft's best hope is to kind of rope-a-dope them with missiles and hope they get lucky kills, because I think in any close quarters combat, the F-54s are just going to wipe the floor with Minecraft. Well, uh, let's see let's see how things go here. Because last time when avoiding missiles, they, the F-54s seem to be doing some, some quite tight twisting and turning. Um, I'm not sure what they're going to do here. Here it seems to be quite simple, a more traditional sort of just try and get as much speed perpendicular to the path of the missile as is possible whilst popping some chaff. Yeah, that seems to have um, seems to have worked for Jebediah Kerman come this time around, but as they're a little bit closer, it seemed that they um, they got into these more extra uh, extravagant manoeuvres and that seems to have gone badly for them, but this is not going badly for them. The club tails are one down already. That is an early kill. That is good news. Yeah, that's just gone straight off of the vessel switcher. Nearest craft is, what, three and a half kilometers away. That's the remains of the one that's crashing. So we hopefully should see guns going any second now. The other Kaiser's closing the distance. That might have been a scorch on that Kaiser. It paused for a second. Oh, and that is Another club tail. I think, yeah, I think we can safely say the Kaisers did a number on, on that. It's all down to this one remaining club tail. That looks like one of the Kaisers is, oh, he's just breaking low. No. Oh, it seemed for a second there that one of the Kaisers was about to crash into the ground, but it appears not. Bit of a joust going on there. Doesn't come to anything. But now, three hyper-manoeuvrable craft on her tail. Rowena Kerman has got quite the task, but it's a missile kill. A missile comes in. This time it is the F-54s that get lucky with the missile kills. And they are victorious. And again, another quick fight. Their liquid f their fuel's holding up quite well. It's a little bit better than I thought it would be. I think maybe they've got a little bit more, a little bit more endurance than I was giving them credit for earlier on. But anyway, it's a clean sweep on this second fight for the uh, for the F-54s. Let's go to our final fight. So for the final fight, the F-54s will be going up against my Panthers. Let's get this one going. And so it begins for one final time. The F-54s turn around very quickly and will soon loose their first body of missiles. There we go. Now there have been a lot of missile kills in this in these fights and um, I think overall the Kaisers have come out on top. I think one of the reasons for that is they can turn so quickly, they can very reliably 
get a volley of missiles away. Sometimes the aircraft sort of have to deal with the missiles that are flying at them and can't turn around in time to get their own away, but yeah, the Kaisers don't suffer from this problem. Second volley of missiles goes away. Coming up to about six kilometers in separation, I would really like to see some more gun kills in this fight. I mean, I know that means that it's probably the F-54s against my own craft, but I would really like to see how these things perform up close. Another missile away, closing to about four kilometers. Oh! And one of the Kaisers goes to a missile very quickly. <laughs> explosion after explosion, and that is not good for the Kaisers. Let's see what uh, let's see what these other two can pull out the bag. Jebediah Kerman bites the dust. What can his wingmen do? There's another missile coming in close. That's what I'm saying. They do tend to pull these more screwy manoeuvres when the uh, missiles are coming into them a bit up close. And that is that is one of the F-54s going after one of the Panthers. Breaks off there. Not sure why. Tries to reacquire. Oh, it was a missile incoming. Now one of the Panthers lays gun onto Daffy Kerman's craft. She should have the manoeuvrability to turn it around, should she? So want Doesn't quite do enough. Launches a missile though. Has another craft in her sights. Launches yet another missile. The Panthers have got, a, got lucky with a missile kill. Can the uh, can the Kaisers do likewise to even the score? Gunfire incoming gets very close, but Daphne Kerman has the manoeuvrability to just shake it off at a moment's notice. Turns around, has reacquired a new target. Has one of the Panthers in her sights, lays it in with guns. Nothing doing this time around. More gunfire incoming. Pulls evasive maneuvers. Which is the strong point of. Oh, gets a little bit of damage. More evasive maneuvers. Now, these aren't the most maneuverable of my craft, but both Kaisers in trouble, it looks like. Daffy Kerman. Managing to pull the old switcheroo on the craft that was chasing her, I think. Closes some distance. Oh, you've got to be killing. You've got to be taking the kill at that range. More gunfire. To no avail so far. That's another good shot. Oh, now that was some damage. Let's see if we can find the panther in question. Is this... Not you. I can't find the... what's that? That is... That's panther debris. One of the panthers is heavily injured. One of the panthers is out. It is two against two. And these Kaisers have the manoeuvrability to stick to the tail of these Panthers. Daffy Kerman once again coming in. Laying down guns. Can't quite get that shot. There's more debris over there. Oh, does some damage. More damage. Nothing crucial lost so far. The F-54 has to break off the attack, getting a little bit too close. There's that other panther. Spiralling down to the ground. Has distracted one of the F-54s though. Can that... Can Rowena Kerman come in and make that count? Oh, Looked like a little bit of damage. Just a minor scorching though. It's, uh, yeah, it's going on a while. I was not expecting a fight this long. How are, um, how are the F-54s doing with their fuel? 
they're going to have to do something quickly. The F-54s are going to have to do something quickly if they want to win. These Panthers so far seem to be successfully evading most of the attention the F-54s are putting down upon them. That looks like a golden opportunity. Could that be an opportunity they... A missed opportunity they rue come the end of this fight. Panther is almost spinning out, takes some damage. Doesn't seem to be anything major. Right up close and personal now. More damage. Oh, and that is one of the other Panthers gone. I'm not sure if it was forced into the ground. But now... Rowena Kerman will have the attention of both of these Kaisers. They might be able to do it before their fuel runs out. Breaking low. A little too low, perhaps, and is forced into the ground, and the Kaisers take it. The Kaisers are victorious. And they really did cut it fine, but uh, the day does belong to the F-54 Kaiser. So a very, very solid showing there from the F-54 Kaiser. And if we bring up the leaderboard, we can see that uh, over the three fights, it's eight kills and five survivors gives it a points total of 13. Enough to see it on top of our leaderboard for now. Yeah, I'm going to have to introduce a dotted line on this thing or something because only the top four qualify for the final. And next time we find out who will be the first disappointed fighter. But... One thing's for certain, it will not be the F-54 Kaiser. Thank you very much to Carl for this excellent craft. Um, the roster for this season is looking pretty full at the moment, but if you want to send me your craft, then feel free anyway. I might be able to use it as a reserve craft, just in case I can't use one of the others, or hey, there may even be Season 3 if I'd a subscriber. Who knows? All the details in the description. But uh, for now, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.